Good morning. Thank you for joining me. My name is Derek Mitchell. It's Monday. It's uh, very early here. It's approximately 20 to 9 in the morning in Niagara time. So what am I here to talk to you about today? I just want to say thanks again for joining me. Um, so I'm going to talk about fat. I've been working on taking off a few more pounds, uh, basically at my goal, but I want to see if I can get a little bit lower. I'm trying to firm up uh, as well and uh, that means doing some exercise, but not cardio. Basically, uh, doing um, resistance bands, uh, some weight training, just a very limited, maybe 20 minutes, a half an hour uh, every couple of days, just to try to firm up the stomach a little bit. And um, so I wanted to just say hi on this. It's basically, it just rained a lot yesterday, last night. And uh, so I was focusing on, uh, when I went to work, focusing on, uh, increasing my fat for the day, uh, making sure that I had enough fat in the diet, not too much protein. So I had to be a little bit cautious when I took my lunch yesterday. So what's this about? This is about uh, you know your, your macros. Get your fat up. Uh, try to get try to get to eighty percent fat on, on a daily level if you can. That means having some more butter with the food that you eat. Maybe having some grass fed if you can. Uh, having coconut oil with your drinks, whether it be tea or coffee or whatever it is you drink uh, that's hot, you can blend it in. I have my coffee here this morning. I don't know if I can show you, but it's blended coffee. Let's see if I can do it without. Let me just grab the camera here. So, you see that? I know it looks a little bit grungy, but it just came out of the blender. And basically, um, that gives me a little, little additional uh, fat level, and I really enjoy it. So, I want to emphasize that you, if you're doing the ketogenic type of eating, to focus on the fat level you have per day because that will help you, your body uh, do what it needs to. And by uh, ingesting um, healthy, saturated, uh, or mon monounsaturated fats, more more saturated that is best, that you can make your body basically uh, uh, be more efficient in ketosis uh, by lowering your carbs, of course. So increase your fat. 80% is uh, is the focus I think you should go for. Your goal, I mean, is individual for each person. Uh, mine is 80, and I'm going to get there. Um, every every day I'm able to go longer and longer without eating, and that's not just because I'm starving myself, but that's essentially that I don't feel hungry. And if I don't feel hungry, I'm not going to eat. Now, I do have my coffees during the day. I definitely drink lots of water, uh, but whenever I have a drink that can have fat, I add fat to it. And I know some people may be thinking, if you watch the video, that, oh, well, there's too many calories in, in uh, coconut oil or, or things like that. And I said, you know what? It's not about the calories. It's about the quality of the, of the food that you're eating. Uh, if you get healthy fats, they're going to be good for you. They're going to make your body, uh, your, your um, hormones do what they're supposed to. You're not going to have high levels of insulin. You're going to be able to not have a high glucose uh, level. And you're going to have your body burning itself and uh, burning its fat. Not just the, You're not going to atrophy the muscles. You're not going to make your muscles go um, and, and be eaten away by, by your body when you're losing weight. So um, just focus on the fat. Now, you, each person needs to look at the amount of uh, food that they ingest on a daily basis. Your body should tell you when to stop eating. So you should be at a certain point, you should stop being hungry. So that's all, all I'm talking about today is, you know, make sure your fat's high, your protein's moderate, and your carbs are low. And just focus on what's important to you relationships. Keep the stress level low. Get a good night's sleep. If you're on shift work, try to, you know, plan for the same sleep every night so that you're able to get a uh, quality sleep when you're not working. Um, so right now I'm working uh, an afternoon shift, so I don't, fi I don't finish until approximately 11 o'clock at night this week. But uh, what I do is when I get home, I, I, I'm all ready to go to sleep. So within a half an hour of me walking in the door, I'm, in, I'm asleep. And then I'll get up the next morning. Like right now, you know, I'm, it's, I'm up early. I was up a, about an hour and a half ago. So and it wasn't because I set my alarm. I basically I want to make sure I have a scheduled and structured sleep. So I try to get to bed as soon as I can once I get in the door. Um, if you're on midnight shifts, it's a little bit tougher. Your cortisol level may be a little higher because of the stress level when you're up all night as opposed to sleeping a normal pattern. Um, so try to the best to have a scheduled sleep and make sure you don't, um, d uh, d you know, vary from it too much. So your body says, okay, this is the time for me to go into REM sleep. And then you're reducing your, your stress levels and cortisol levels don't increase. Stress is a big factor in whether you are able to maintain or lose weight. If you have too much stress in your life, 
even if you do a proper diet, and, and a lot of people do, if you have too much stress, you're not going to be able to lose weight as effectively or at all sometimes. So stress, think about that. Get a good night's sleep. Try not to, you know, I know things in life, life is real, and sometimes there is stressful moments, but try to reduce it as much as you can. Try to understand there's things you have control over and things you don't have control over, and focus on those ones you do have control over. Fix them if you can, but don't try, try not to worry about them. I do, I stress a lot, and at times it stopped me from losing weight. The diet is, is amazing. The low-carb uh, ketogenic diet will help you get where you need to be. But if you have too much stress, it could put a blocker on that. So again, what are we talking about today? We're talking about increasing your fat level to 80 or more percent, uh, making sure your protein is uh, you know, more, no more than 100 grams, or essentially you want to keep it to no more than 15% of the total, uh, total amount of the food that you eat in a day. And carbohydrates, no more than 5% or for in my case, I try to limit it to no more than 20 grams of carbohydrates a day. And again, there are some days that I go above that. So what did I have to eat yesterday? Yesterday was a pretty good day as an example. I actually didn't eat a lot. So I had bacon and eggs for breakfast in the morning, and that was um, mid-morning because I, uh, I was on the shift work. And then uh, approximately 2 o'clock, I cooked up some pork chops, two pork chops, one for, for dinner for work to take with me and one for a snack before I went to work. All, uh, not to mention the coconut oil in the coffee. Uh, I had two large cups of coffee yesterday before I left the house. I'm actually working towards uh, reducing or eliminating my caffeine. So I still do have a caffeinated coffee in the morning, but the rest of the day is decaf. When I take a thermos with me of coffee to work, it's all uh, it's decaf. So I don't, uh, you know, I don't want to uh, increase the stress on my adrenal glands. And by reducing the amount of caffeine in my diet, that allows me to do it. So a few tips on what you can do to improve your uh, body's fat burning ability, your ketosis efficiency, and also, you know what, so you feel full and that you don't want to go uh, and um, you don't want to go and try some other foods that shouldn't be in your in your diet. Uh, also, reduce your stress. So try to not worry so much about life. I mean, I've got a lot of stresses in life, but I'm focusing on um, being able to relax uh, when I'm not, uh, you know, not doing something like work or something like that. Work is, you know, work. At, there's a certain responsibility that you do a good job at your job, but uh, you know what? After you've left, then this is the time for you to to treat yourself properly. I hope everyone has a wonderful Monday. I'm looking forward to the weather improving here in Niagara over the next few days. And I will talk to you soon. So take care. Thank you.